We're excited to be playing home once again. It's something we worked uh, hard at all season uh, to be one of the top eight seeds, uh, the number two seed. Uh, be our last match of the year here at the Mitchell Tennis Center, and uh, we couldn't be more excited about that. The play in front of the 12th man. We know the Tennessee team quite well. We've seen them all season. We played them a couple months back here and had a decisive 6-1 win, although those were a lot of close matches out there, a lot of three-setters that uh, went our way. Um, our, our team's looking great. We've had some great practices since the SEC tournament, and we'll be ready to go. You touched on, but how, uh, what did you take away from that earlier matchup? And then I guess as part of that, do you know how their lineup has shaped out in terms of what it was then compared to now? Do you I have similar matches? I think it's going to be similar matchups all across the board, assuming we're healthy and, and they're healthy. We're, we're definitely healthy right now, and uh, I believe we've all turned in the same uh, lineup. So, uh, yeah, those matchups went uh, quite well, and, you know, I think the good news in that match, we actually didn't play our best at a few positions, and we still uh, found a way to get that 6-1 win there. So, uh, yeah, we'll be ready to go. Looking forward to Thursday. Here yep. comes it. You better get it. So you always say that you, you want to get better. So looking at them, do you think they've gotten better since they've played? Tennessee's played consistently well all year, and, and so have we. So, um, you know, it'll be a battle out there. It'll be uh, who's playing better tennis on that day, who's performing at the highest, and who's playing the big points well, and, you know, who's handling the big stage. There'll be a lot of tension in the air. I think it'll be a big, uh, you know, who's handling those pressure moments. And we've played a ton of big matches all season. We've got a lot of experience in our team this year for some, from some big matches, not only this year, but last year as well. So I really look for us to shine in, in those big moments. But you played see, well the whole year, but did you see a lot of confidence last weekend in the fact that your, your girls were playing here on their home court? Yeah, we always have an extra sense of confidence uh, at home. Uh, you know, we've played well both on the road and at home, but uh, we always kind of find another gear here, just play with some confidence, extra confidence, some pride in front of our 12th man. We've had some great crowds here towards the end of the season. And uh, yeah, it's just kind of that extra sense of, of pride playing on our home courts and just a place we're comfortable with. We practice all the time and our courts play relatively slow and we really kind of embrace the conditions of the slow courts and uh, just playing the tough gritty points. We play pretty smart here on our courts. I think our courts are a pretty tough place to play on and that's always a big advantage for us. What did you take away from uh, Mia and Daria and how they kind of performed in their first NCAA tournament experience? Yeah, you know, Mia and Daria, that, like you said, they're uh, freshmen playing their first NCAA tournament. I think they've handled it quite well and now they've kind of had a little a week or so to kind of let that all sink in of playing at home uh, the first two rounds last weekend. I think, you know, that experience will feel even better uh, this time out, so they both performed quite well last weekend, and, and I expect them to kind of even feel a little bit more uh, comfort and at ease uh, this weekend now that we're, we're headed into the third round. Rather of weather, do you want to make a pitch to an indoor facility right now? <laughs> yeah, I'm not quite sure how it's all going to play out. The uh, weather's not looking so hot, so um, that's going to be kind of out of our control. We'll let the NCAA committee kind of decide all that. I don't think we'll have a whole lot of say so in how that all. Uh, plays out, so we'll keep our fingers crossed with, with the weather and the same with the practices this week, so it's a bit of a challenge getting prepared for this match. How do you go about preparing for an outdoor match or possibly an indoor match <laughs> when you can't play outdoors with the way the forecast looks like? Yeah, it's, it's definitely challenging for us. So we, we got extra early this morning to, to beat the weather, and uh, you know that's kind of going to be the game plan here the next few days is just trying to uh, sneak in an hour or two here and uh, each day and uh, so we can properly prepare for uh, the match on Thursday. I don't know if there's any uh, great way to prepare <laughs> for that if, if we're not playing here and uh, yeah we'll just kind of see how that all plays out.